In this video, we're going to consider two more line integral problems. Say that we have a vector, we'll call it f, expressed like this, and we're going to take the line integral of it about the curve, where y equals 1 fourth x squared, and also about the line, y equals 1 half x. So, we're going to proceed exactly as we did in uh, the last video. We're going to take the integral of f dot dr, where r crosses the position vector, dr, remember for the position vector r, it just has the general expression xi plus yj. If we were in three-dimensional space, we'd have plus zk. But dr, that is just dxi plus dyj, just as we did in the last video. So we want to take the integral of f dot dr, and let's make a little bit of room for that. Integral f dot dr. So that will equal this dot dr. That will be the integral of xy dx minus y squared dy. And notice our line integral is in the general form p dx plus q dy. As you saw in the last video, this and this are general expressions for a line integral. Here p, that's xy, and q for this problem would be minus y squared. Now we want to Consider this an example number one where y is just the curve y equals one half x. And of course dy would equal one half dx. So our integral will look something like this. We have x times y, but y we can express as one half x. dx. Then we have minus y squared dy. But y is this, so we could say minus one fourth x squared, and then dy is one half dx. And let's see, for this problem, we are going from here at zero say to where x equals 2. So here we have 2. And of course y would just be 1. We're only interested in x. So we are going from integrating from 0 to 2. So it's all set up for us. This will equal from here we'll have the integral of one half x squared dx. Then here we have minus one eighth x squared dx. This is four eighths minus one eighth 
So that's the integral of 3 eighths x squared dx. And x is going from 0 to 2. So this is a pretty straightforward integral again that equals 3 eighths times 1 third x cubed. x goes from 0 to 2. So we have it equals 1 eighth. Put 2 in here. 2 cubed is 8 times 8 equals 1. So here we had this was the vector we were doing it over this line we began at x equals 0 and went on out to x equal 2 and then the final answer we got was just 1. Now if we consider this same vector and we're going to start at x equals 0 and go out here to where x equals 2 but instead of doing it along this curve will that give us the same result? Here taking that line integral about the straight line 1 that gave us an answer of 1. If we do it about this curve y equals 1 fourth x squared what kind of an answer do we get then? So let's see how this works out. We have again f dot dr. We didn't have to erase that. It's the same thing. xy dx minus y squared dy. And we want to integrate this where y equals one-fourth x squared. So for y we can substitute this in and we can also substitute this in because we can find out what dy is. dy that's just going to be one-half x dx. So again we can express everything in a single variable. We expressed it with respect to x. So here we will have the line integral x times y which is one fourth x squared dx minus y squared, that would be this squared, so that would be 1 16th x to the fourth, and dy is this, 1 half x dx. Let's make our integral sign a little bit bigger. And again, we are integrating from x equals 0 to x equals 2. So let's see, we have the integral. This will be 1 fourth x cubed. dx, x goes from 0 to 2, and then here we will have minus integral, make this better, 1 over 32 x to the fifth dx, and x again goes from 0 
to 2. So these are pretty straightforward integrals. Here we have 1 fourth. This would be x to the fourth over 4. So we have it like this. x goes from 0 to 2 minus 1 over 32, and this would be x to the sixth over 6. So x goes from 0 to 2. So let's see, here we have put 2 in here. 2 to the fourth is 16 divided by 16. That's just 1. So we have 1. Then here we have minus 1 over 32 times 6. And then here we have 2 to the 6th power. Now 32, that's 2 to the 5th power. So this is 2 to the 5th. So here we have 2 to the 6 divided by 2 to the 5th. That's 2. So you have 1 minus 2 over 6. Or well, that's 1 minus 1 third. That equals 2 thirds. So we see the answer is different. When we are considering our line integrals, where we started and where we ended was the same place. We considered the same vector, but took the line integral over this curve, it gave us an answer of 1. We get it about this curve, it gave us an answer of 2 thirds. So for this problem, the path that we take with the answer that we get, put up this with the answer that we get, depends upon not just the endpoints, but also upon the path that we take. Now there are certain situations, as we'll see in the next video, when you take your line integral, it doesn't matter at all which path you take it over, you always get the same answer. But we'll consider that in the next video. Anyway, this is just two more examples then of uh, working with line integral problems. In the next video, We'll have a little bit more difficult example, and it'll be one that will illustrate for us the concept of conservative fields. So that's what we will do in our next video. Um, the playlist for these videos uh, concerning vector analysis is at the website digital-university.org.